Hello everybody, good day to you. We are returning back to SEMA. I think I'm here on day two or day three. We have reached the JM3 oil filter wrench booth. And it looks like most of us are not here. President Mike's over here. And life unit's over here, taking a breather. I was just sitting saying, down. my feet are hurt from yesterday. Yeah, it's been a long couple of days. Definitely a long couple of days. We're waiting for Bearded Ford Tech to arrive. Eric from I Do Cars, he's out wandering around somewhere. Uh, Ford Boss and A-Rod, they went to go on a little tour around the corner, so I'm kind of man in the booth right now. You're so serious. It is worth That's smiling. That's worth smiling about. Smile. It doesn't look genuine. Yeah, I think it's genuine. You got a great smile. Hey, he's faking it now. Look, he's faking it. <laughs> yeah, let's go see what Mike's doing over here. This one right here is preset. So once you get it tightened, then it's already got the amount of travel that you need. That's what I was trying to do with this one. So now you've already preset the tightness for, you know, they ask for three quarters of a turn. But, but this, the hand strength, that's the third gen. It's, it's, it's a different set of muscles that you're engaging right there. You can still grab it, close the handle, and pull or push if you want. You can use it, like, if you want to go ahead and, and, and suspend it on something. Right, so there's three different ways that you can use this. Three in one, and of course, you know, tightening it up. It's super simple. This new Gen 3, what did you think? I, I like it. I like it. I, Mike's demonstrating the V3 version of his oil filter wrench design. This is the auto ratcheting version, my favorite. Here, Gabe's going to show us how these things work inside of a tightly confined space just called like the squirrel cage. And then you got to, you know, if it's not loose enough to take it off with your hands, just take it off, readjust it, and just give it another squeeze. Just there like we that. go. And if you got, if you got those uh, spots where you just can't get your hand in there, however, no matter how much you try, all you got to do is just just get it up against the block or whatever and then just push the trigger. Right. Nice. So this, this one's really great for the you know, hard to reach places, the tight spaces. Awesome thing about this is that it's got torque specs for when you put your new filter on, you get it hand tight and you gotta go that extra quarter turn, you flip it over and you just give it one squeeze and that's your spec quarter turn right there. So that's that's what this is for. The, did he show you the ratchet one? Yeah, he did. Yeah, so that's right. that one. All right, he just mentioned the ratcheting version. This is the V3 version. Check this out. This one's the showstopper right here. So it's got a, uh, a ratcheting type of call mechanism inside right here. And what it will do is when you crack your filter loose, you don't have to readjust. It auto ratchets just like so. That is the showstopper. This is what we've been waiting on for a couple years. It's been in R&D, but this is the bad man pajama of the group right here. There we go. Release. Good to go. And the difference is, if you guys remember last year's version, these are the ones that I have in my shop currently right here. They're uh, not the auto ratcheting, so what we would do is set this up on our filter. Let's see if I find the right one. You'd set it up, give it the squeeze for your turn, and then you'd have to come off of the tool or off the filter, reapply, give it another squeeze, come off, reapply, and that goes for both directions. And again, with the updated version number three, with the auto ratcheting call, we don't have to lift the tool off the filter. We just sit there and run the thing back and forth and it will do the work for you. That way you don't have to. Great for not burning yourself. Naturally, we've got the big boy ones for the heavy duty commercial guys and the marine guys. These, I do not believe, are ratcheting, but they do have an auto-adjusting pawl mechanism uh, inside of the filter, or inside of the wrench housing, allowing these teeth to expand. They cam outwards uh, as they make contact, and then they will grip into your filter, locking it in, and then you can put some leverage and torque against them. And no, we don't have one for the coffee. Oh, I made an error. We have the Generation 1. That's the one with the spring that uh, opens up your handle. The Gen 2 is the Paul version that will auto-adjust. The Gen 3 is the ratcheting. And then, of course, over here, we've got the big boy for the extra-large filters. And again, these are all JM3 oilfilterwrench.com custom-made products in the United States. They're powder-coated, warranty. Like I said, American-made, American ingenuity. And again, this is the one that I've been excited about because it makes the process a whole lot faster. 
we give this guy a flock it in here. We'll give her a turn to release. And you can see how the inner workings will stay locked in position. See the little fingers in there? Those stay in position. And then you just give it a turn. Oh, we're loose now. Just like so. And then if we were to use these to tighten the tool or tighten the filter, give it a flip. Here's our turn. And then it locks in right there. More turning action. That guy's super duper tight. Yeah. Yep, nope, I can't do it. But again, to remove, we've got built in leverage. No problem. And these are dry filters too, there's no lubrication on the seals in the bottom of these filters. All right, so now we're gonna give this the real test. My darling, you wanna give this thing a, a shot? I wanna see if, if I can over torque this and keep you from breaking this filter loose. So let me give it to you. I think this is oil change level tight like the, the quick loop guys. I think we're gonna do it as tight as I can. Here you go. So what do I do? What do you do? Take the filter off. Just pull it. It's already on there. That's as tight as I could get it. What do you got? Oh, it's hard. <laughs> Straighten your arm out. Back up some stance a little bit. Straighten your arm. And just pull. You got it. You got it. There she goes. Bingo. That's it. Right there. Beautiful. So what has actually happened here is Mike has found a way to defeat the lube techs at Walmart. The ones that over tighten our oil filters. The ones that we cannot get the things off. And then when you put our traditional style filter wrenches on there, they slip because they've only got two points of contact where these things are running, what, 14, 18 points of contact? So you've got a whole, a whole bunch more surface on the filter. So when they wrench those things down with a bunch of oil on the, on the seal, it lubes it up and it gets it super duper tight. We can defeat that with this tool right here. And what do, what, what gravity, do you, water gravity. The, the caps that we have, we have this, the, like the oil filter sockets that go on here. And what ends up happening is those, those, those sockets, those cups, they wear out on the flutes on the inside on the flats. Then they start wearing at the corners of the filter. So eventually, if the shop doesn't keep up on replacing them often, even the name brand ones do it, there's none of them that don't do it, yep. you end up screwing up the filter. Well, this does is it goes inside the middle of the flutes and it actually pushes into the high points rather than rounding off the high points. And if this ever does wear out, the company replaces it. It's a lifetime warranty. They'll send you a new one. It's not, the, it's not a problem. This saves a ton of time when you get into a spot and you got loop techs that are constantly messing things up or they went to like a, a quick change place or something like that and they're constantly screwing up the filter and then it comes to your shop and you're the one that has to fix the problem. Throw this on there, spin it right off. It's as simple as that.